you can create panchagni like this in your own home and benefit from that. These six triangles represent the six chakras. You just burn this for six to eight hours in the day and the akashic element will become dominant. If there are sick people, growing children, old people, it will do wonders for them. Every human being like to have their own food and their own water, of course. If you hate somebody sitting next to you, you would like to have your own air. When you find everybody around you is not as fired up as you are towards your growth and ultimate possibility, then you want to have your own fire. You don't want to sit in common fires. A sadhu will never sit around fire with householders. He doesn't want to sit with them. He doesn't want to communicate on that level with people who are involved in the ways of the body. So he'll want his own fire. He wants to communicate only with forces which are beyond him. Communicate does not mean speaking, he may be speaking to other people, but he doesn't want his energies to get mixed up with everybody. He does not want the subtler aspect of his being, subtler aspect of his presence and his existence to get mixed up with various others. Because when you sit around a fire, in some way you merge with each other. You don't want to... If you're working towards a certain quality, a sadhu, who has attained a certain mastery over his life, does not want to sit with anybody. He wants to have his own fire and sit with that, because he wishes to communicate only with the divine, not with anybody else. So a personal duni. And these dunis were done in so many ways. The basic duni comes in what's called as uh, panchagni. There is panchagni sadhanas, panchagni mantras, panchagni... Uh, kriyas, we can... Uh, we can make you experiment with a small panchagni in your home and see how you can transform your home. Let's say you want to create a meditation space in your home or let's say you have old people or children in the house, or somebody is sick, then just for regular general conduciveness also, you can do this. You use the... all the five elements to do this. You create... Oh, I'm not a great artist, but I'll try. So, you just draw four triangles, two upward-facing triangles, two downward-facing triangles. Let's say you spaced it out like ten by ten, ten feet by ten feet. 
or six feet by six feet or whatever the space you want to create and a central two triangles intersecting so that it forms like a an anahata star. You can draw this with flour, rice flour or you can draw this with grains, let's say pulses or just rice. You can just make an outline or you can fill it. The important thing is something that's earthy. You can even use fine red earth to do this. So, totally there are six triangles here. These six triangles represent the six chakras because the seventh one is not something that you manipulate like this. It's the six chakras and the five elements and the five different fires. So you create a, a plate, preferably a copper plate or any metal plate, let's say, filled with water and in that you keep a lamp, a ghee lamp or a vegetable oil lamp, preferably a uh, sesame oil. Sesame generates heat. In winters, in entire southern India, people are eating lot of till or sesame seeds to generate heat in the body. It generates enormous amount of heat. So sesame oil or ghee or any other vegetable oil and five lamps with water body around it. You just burn this for six to eight hours in the day. This area will gather a certain level of our aura and the Akashic element will become dominant. If there are sick people, growing children, old people, it will do wonders for them. Or if you want to meditate, you want to create a meditative space, it will work beautifully. You can just create this kind of space for yourself every day if you just have this burning for six to eight hours and then you can remove that and sit there or you can make it a permanent thing, you can put this on some kind of a sheet so that you can move it and put it back when you want to sit or you can sit with it. There is no issue, you can just leave it as it is and sit with it. It could bring a lot of benefit because this is a way of managing the panchagni system. If one wants to learn mantras and kriyas associated with that, it is possible, but that will involve a different level of involvement and attention. But this is something that everybody can do. So you can create panchagni like this in your own home and benefit from that. Why is Sadhguru getting so ritualistic? He told us none of the rituals are not necessary, everything can be done within one hundred percent. If you… if you know how to turn inward and maintain this sarvagni within you, which touches everything in the universe, none of those things are needed. Where you sit is the most conducive place. Your very presence will work a million times better than all these arrangements. But if you don't have that, nothing wrong in using external support. If you're in such a condition that your way of being is not influenced by anything around you, then you don't need any ritual, nothing is needed. What's within will take care of everything.